Hi, so this is Andrew Bonar from Email Expert, and I'm here to talk about some recent changes that we've seen over at Gmail. Many people have been up in arms claiming that Gmail has yet again moved the email marketing cheese, uh, and essentially what's behind all of this is this change the way it delivers images. Images used to be served up direct from your platform, from your servers, or from your EDM platform servers, and now what's happening is they're being served up via a Gmail straight Google proxy. Um, this is causing a number of issues. It is causing some people issues with uh, open tracking and non unique open tracking. It's causing um, everyone issues with IP location tracking, and geo tracking, um, geo location tracking, um, trying to identify where in the world your subscribers have opened the email. Uh, and it's also causing issues for most people in regards to uh, tracking the devices that people are using. So as a result of um, then redirecting the calls for images via their servers, there's uh, three potential issues that people are seeing. Well, actually there's a fourth issue, um, files over 10 megabytes aren't being served. Um, but the three primary issues that people are seeing um, aren't necessarily always ubiquitous. So despite that some, some blogs are being consulted and they're published, um, we are seeing various platforms that are unaffected by these issues. Um, some people have intimated that the reason why uh, there's, there's a difference in what people are seeing is simply to do with the fact that Google will roll out those changes at different points across their network and at different points in time across the world, and therefore that's why we're seeing different behaviours, um, and, and that's the reason for the confusion. I don't believe that's the reason for the confusion. I believe there's um, a difference in the way people are implementing te their technology, um, and, and there's a way in which they're uh, reading and receiving data, and therefore, various EDM platforms are seeing different results. For example, my own test campaign monitors have been completely unaffected um, by the changes that we've seen. Uh, MailChimp is recording multiple opens as long as you're, you switch devices. Um, that's in my tests. Uh, Smart Focus reports that they've got uh, no impact on their opens tracking, and Exact Target also recently uh, blogged to the same effect. So, what we're seeing is um, there's a large part of the community that's seeing a number of problems and there's another part of the community that's not seeing quite as many problems. The video in the background has been recreating a campaign to test um, the, this um, argument that we put forward and to illustrate. So I've uh, basically put together a campaign uh, by the campaign monitor platform and I'm going to be sending it to two email addresses. One is my uh, andrew.gmail.com address. Uh, and that's the, the, the native email, I use the native uh, Gmail interface for that. The other is a Google Apps account, which um, everyone that I've seen, um, heard or talked to has, has stated is completely unaffected by the recent changes. Uh, my own tests confirm that. So we've sent a campaign, um, Andrew's tested Gmail images open tracking. And what we're going to see is whether or not we're able to record more than one open from the same recipient on the same device, same platform, within a very short space of time. So there's my initial open. I don't have to worry about turning images on, so I turn images on by default. When we go to the reports, and we see that 50% of the recipients I sent it to have opened, that's one person. So one open by one person. Now I'll go back. I'm going to close that uh, window. I don't want to have local cache issues into the this testing. Uh, people are stating that it's the Google cache that's um, caching these images and, and therefore closing and reopening the tabs shouldn't affect the, the Google cache if that's what's busy with um, And now I'm opening the window a second time. It's taking some sweet time. Open the a second time, and I'm going to refresh the reporting campaign okay, monitor. We can still see one, one unique opener, one unique open, and then refresh it one more time, and there you go. One unique open, but two opens. So that's within a few seconds of each other. The video is playing in real time. Within a few seconds of each other, the same recipient opening the same email and the same device has recorded two opens. Just to be sure this isn't some kind of fluke, what we're going to do is um, go back in and refresh a few times um, to show that 
like we're, we're continuing to be able to, at least on my test plan, campaign monitor platform, um, record non unique versions on the same device. Uh, so I'm just looking for the other email that I'd sent. Uh, I didn't actually send this campaign monitor, it's not in the spam folder. Uh, I need to open up, which I'll do in a second, the email expert account. Now, um, email experts on uh, Gmail hosted domains, it's, it's a Google Apps account, and that's completely unaffected. I said earlier by the recent changes. Um, and the reason why I'm going to open the email there as well is to illustrate that um, when when it's not going live in the Google Proxy, the um, image delivery of the email campaign, we're able to record accurately at Campaign Monitor the location um, of the person who's opening the email. Um, so in this test, in the adjudicatebonal.gmail.com account, for open so far, you can see I'm opening in Mountain View, California. That's the uh, fastest route between the campaign on our data centers and Google Network. Um, so that's why I'm showing this coming up by Mountain View, because the email that I'm viewing is being delivered by the new proxy Gmail service. And that new Gmail proxy service isn't inheriting our ability to record and track multiple items from the same recipient in a very short space of time. No funny tricks such as uh, changing the device but the browser or otherwise. Um, so take it up to five just to be completely sure. One more refresh there so you can see the quick token. And then we'll go across and have a look at the open. There we go, five opens. Then we'll go across and have a look at the open that I did at Email Expert, and we'll see that that reports my location is being not far from Sydney, Australia, which is in fact where I am, not in the area of in View, California. So on the blog, I'll also make available for headers of the uh, campaign that was sent so that you are able to see for yourself that this would provide the Google Proxy and Cash Service and if that didn't cause any issues in the to the open speed there, the open uh, is there, it's recorded, and you'll see that the open is recorded as having occurred in Sydney, Australia. Southern in New South Wales, where I am, it's a bit better. So thanks for listening, and that's the campaign.